when you get to know the scriptures, the whole lot of songs you will never sing again. That many have sung for a long, long time. They've sung a lot of songs for a long time. And just because a song has been in the church among Christians for many, many years doesn't make it right. I'll give you a simple example. One of the most popular songs among Christians. That song has been among Christians for 240 years plus. That means for centuries. That song is titled, All Hail the Power of Jesus' Name. It's got several versions. All hail the power of Jesus' name. That angels prostrate for. All hail the power of Jesus' name. That's another version. Now, that song has been in the church, think about it, for 240 years. Like many others, some are older, much older than that. But the problem with that song, that song says, bring forth the royal diadem and crown him Lord of all. That means bring forth the royal crown and crown him Lord of all. Question, when they sing, Bring forth the royal diadem and crown him Lord of all. Who are they talking to? Many of us used to sing the song. I grew up knowing that song. I sang that song a long, long time. Until the Spirit of God began to direct me and talk to me about these things. So when we sing like that, bring forth the royal diadem and crown him Lord of all. Who are we talking to? Are we talking to God to crown Jesus Lord of all? Are we talking to men to crown him Lord of all? Or are we talking to who? But irrespective of who you were talking to when you sang it, and by the way, if you weren't talking to particularly anybody, then your song was an empty song. Then it was a useless song. But let's suppose for a moment you were talking to whoever, God, men, angels, whoever. That song was a terrible song because when you study the Bible, the only one that a crown was given to was the Antichrist. You see, they didn't know it. They didn't study the Bible to realize that that was a problem. And they sang it for two centuries plus. Jesus was never given a crown. Jesus is the one who gives crowns. You read from Genesis to Revelation. And where they are actually talking from in that song is in the book of Revelation. But they were wrong. They thought that when they brought a crown and gave the one who was on the white horse a crown, they thought that that was Jesus. But that was the Antichrist. Jesus was never given a crown. He is not given a crown. He is the one that crowns others. He's called King of Kings and Lord of Lords. No one can crown him. So that song was a terrible song, but they didn't know it for 200.